Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Burning Road Podcast. I'm Jake Scarborough, joined by my co-host. Uh, everyone, introduce yourselves for the new season. Great! What's okay. Oh, okay. What's up, y'all? I'm Tim Olson. I'm just happy to be here, honestly. Then you got I'm it. Sal. Yeah, Sal. <laughs> what about the rest? You got you got Stotts. Yeah, you got Connor, you got Stotts, who's like dying right now, and then Fabian, who's at the uh, bottom. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, for discussion today, um, obviously the new season, we are leading into, well, Speed Week as it is now. Uh, we have qualifying coming up. Well, technically, this is being uploaded on Wednesday, so later today in terms of this recording. So, who qualifies on pole? Bold prediction. Tim, we'll start out with you. Uh, I don't know. Probably I'd say a Hendrick car because that's what it's been since like forever. Probably. I don't know. Literally, you could just pick any of the four of them and it could be them. But I guess I'll go William Byron because why not? <laughs> Fair enough. Connor, I saw the thumbs up down there. Who do you think is going to be? I'm going the exact same driver, my favorite driver, okay. 24, William Martin. Fair enough. Sal, what about you? I think Ross Chastain will get the pole for the 500. Okay. Uh, different different choice, still a Chevrolet, Fabian. What about you? I'm going with Alex Bowman this season. Okay, so another Hendrick driver. Stott? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go Elliot, Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott. Okay, so everyone's going Hendrick drivers. I'm going to be the only one to go a non a non-Chevrolet driver, and I'm picking Bubba Wallace. I think he's going to be on the pole this year. Um, As yeah. for the unchartered drivers, uh, we've got, what, six of them? Yeah, six. Dicks. And four make it, two from qualifying, so... Who do you guys think makes it from qualifying? Tim, we'll go back to you. Yeah. You got Jimmy Johnson. The, you got the people's champ. He's he's in. He's, he's got to be in. in. Who, who's the other from qualifying? Because it's two uh, from quali. I don't. Probably Travis Pastrana. Just Travis. the people that everyone wants to see make it. Okay. Connor? All right. So I see me and Tim are reading off the same script here. Year. So obviously Jimmy Johnson, I think he's going to qualify in, and uh, Travis Pastrana being in a twenty three eleven car, I think it'll have enough speed to make it in. Okay, Sal, I have Chandler Smith making it on speed, and uh, I believe I had Austin Hill as well uh, making it on speed. All right, uh, <coughs> Fabian, what about you? I'm going with Jimmy Johnson and Austin Hill. Okay. Stotts? I'm going with the two I knew from the start. I'm going uh going Pastrana and Johnson. That's the only two I knew. So, so lots of lots of Pastrana Johnson. <laughs> I'm 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 gonna be the one that's gonna get yelled at for this. I think we're getting I'm I'm getting Fernando Alonso vibes. Johnson's not made from Quali, not from the duels, not at all. Okay. So I think Pastrana and Hill qualify in. But uh, then we lead ourselves to <laughs> to the duels where, well, first and foremost, who do you guys, well, actually, it's hard to tell who would win the duels. So I guess who would make it in based off the duels? Tim? You really don't think Johnson's going to make it, mm-hmm. like, at all? Nope. Fernando Alonso vibes. I feel like the hype train's going to come to a crashing Terrible. halt. That is bold. Bold? Yes. That. Terrible. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I'd say Zane Smith probably makes it. His front row usually does good on plate tracks. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it's not chartered, so he has to race in. Yeah. Uh, um. Then the other one. Uh, probably. I know probably Austin Hill, just because Chandler Smith doesn't have Cup experience. Mm-hmm. Connor. All right. So Austin Hill seems to be a pretty good plate racer. So I'm going to put him in. And we'll start him. Sal? Um, no, nah, this is where I have Johnson and Pastrana both making it in, I think. I, I don't know how yet. Obviously, qualifying not done yet, but I, I think the uh, the duels are going to line up 
well enough for them to race their way in at least. All right, Fabian. I think it's going to be Connor Daly. And J- uh, Chandler Smith. Chandler Smith. Okay. Stotts. He's Hill and Hill and Smith, bro. Hill I mean, Smith. I don't know anybody else. So I'm going to say one that you guys, none of you said, because I'm going bold. Connor go. Daly and Chandler Smith are going to race their way in. That is. <laughs> I, I I think I think Zane Smith doesn't make it heartbreak. I feel like there's gonna be a massive crash and he doesn't make it. So that that's just the duels though. We've seen we've seen Joey Logano do Joey Logano things last year. So never know. Uh as for the truck series, the truck series is kind of weird this year because a lot of new faces, lots of driver changes. Uh nevertheless, a Field that's probably going to be lackluster like last year. So, uh, Tim, who do you think is going to win Daytona for the trucks? Honestly, because there's like five or six drivers that were racing last year in the same place, Hmm. like compared to this year. Safe to go with one of them. Honestly, a coin flip between Rhodes and Zane Smith, but I'll go Zane Smith. Zane Smith, okay. Connor? I'm going to go a little off the board here. I'm going to take my favorite driver in the new Napa 19 truck, Christian Eckes. Okay. Sal? Um, <clears throat> I think Ty Majewski, uh kind of starts a nice little run with, with the win Friday. Okay. Fabian? I'm going to go off a whim here, and since it's Daytona, it's always crazy. I'm going to say Haley Deegan. Okay. It was, bound, it was bound either me or you said that, or at least me or someone. I, I was probably going to say it. Either way. Matthew? Uh, I'm taking uh, I'm taking Tanner Gray. Tanner Gray? Okay. Um, I'm going to go out on a whim, and I'm going to say... The man who signed with GMS, probably one of the better signers. Jurassic winner. Yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> that, that would be the amazing thing to see. I, I think he is the guy to go for. I feel like he's going to be the ultimate underdog and steal this one. Uh, nevertheless, the Xfinity series, probably giving off like mid-2010 vibes with how how weird the field is because there's a lot of talent in there. It's probably going to be one of the most entertaining series to watch this year. So with that being said, Daytona is always a chaotic one for them. Tim, who you got winning? Um, Justin Haley's in, right? Yeah. 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 Justin Haley. Justin Haley. All right, Connor. All right. I had to look up an entry list to figure out who the hell, who's in this field, <laughs> but um, I'm going to go with the 16 of Chandler Smith. No okay. colleague car. Okay. So colleague colleague's getting rep. This is we we're we're not getting paid to say this. Don't worry. Uh Sal. <laughs> Hold it right there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um man. <clears throat> I as much as I'd love for like some underdog to win, I feel like it'll be kind of someone who will be racking up some victories this year. I think John Hunter. Starts off with a win. Just made Stotts happy as he's currently like <laughs> doing something down there. Uh, anywho, Fabian? Uh, I'm going to go off a whim and just say Sheldon Creed will win at Daytona. Okay. Stotts? He won there last time, so I'm going to take him. Okay. Um, I'm going to go a little off the wall with this one. I'm going to go ahead and say we get an underdog win. Again, this time from Ryan Sieg. Feel like he's gonna be the the one to kind of grab his what? It would be his first career win, wouldn't it? First win, yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's a possibility. I swear, your predictions are either gonna make you look like the smartest man alive, or just <laughs> well, I mean, hear me out. Ryan Sieg is good enough to like either put himself right outside or right inside the playoff pitcher each year. He's always yeah. there at play yeah. tracks. 
So, so it's a possibility. It's, I'd say it's as about as accurate as a as a prediction than Clemens. I'd say it's about equal. I, I'd say it's an equal prediction. It's Don't even get me wrong. Nothing. They're always that's around each other in the field. Listen, bro, I'm just saying you you the dude who didn't pick Johnson making it. So I mean I don't know. You're yeah, oh, yeah, was, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sieg was I'm probably not... your pick so far. Okay. okay. Well really? it, 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 I'm gonna be laughing when Johnson doesn't make the field, I think. So anywho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm evil. I don't I I don't like that he came out of retirement. I feel like if you say you're retired, you stay retired. Don't he didn't read the NASCAR script. The NASCAR <laughs> script. What's the NASCAR <laughs> script? Yeah. Not yeah, I'm saying Johnson's not gonna right make now. the field just for him to qualify on pole. That that's what's gonna happen here. I hope he does so I you just, you deserve it. Should. If that does if that does happen, just imagine. How many people are gonna think are gonna believe into the whole thing that qualifying for the five hundred is, is scripted? Oh yeah. I, oh, yeah. I definitely. I, I'm one of those people that thinks that. <laughs> I am one of those people, and I'm betting against it this year. But nevertheless, we've got the obviously the Super Bowl of NASCAR, as they refer to it as the Daytona Five Hundred Cup Series racing. So, who's gonna be your pick, Tim? We're all coming at your throat next week. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Pause. No, but no bias, no bias at all. I think Denny Hamlin. Uh, he's he's due. Okay. It's since twenty twenty. It's been a while. All right, Connor. All right. So I thought all day about this. Originally, I was going to pick off the Cindric again, but I decided no, that's not going to happen. I'm going to go with Eric Jones. That is my final pick. Okay. That that that's a that's an interesting one. Not gonna say that's a bad one either, though. So Sal. Um, just for reference, I I made this at nine thirty eight a.m. today, oh, no. but it does not do justice. I have ridden with this pick since last year, and I probably won't stop picking him until he actually does win. I think Daniel Suarez is going to win the Daytona 500. Okay. Okay. Fabian, who do you got? You know, it's been 18 years in the making. He started racing in the Cup Series since I was a year old. I go. think your 2023 Daytona 500 winner will be Kyle Busch. That's biased and a half. Anyways, Matthew, <laughs> on to you. It's a good pick, though. Ready. It's a good pick. It's a good um, pick. Yeah, we saw it at the Clash, but still. All right, Matthew. Uh, I'm thinking Ford, man. I'm thinking Ford. That's all I can think of. Okay. And uh, I'm thinking Todd Gillen. I'm going, I'm going Todd. Oh, Wait, wow. Wait. Oh, my God. Okay, now that you said it, I can't pick him, but he was honestly going to be my pick. That was that was gonna be it. So instead of instead of picking the same thing as you, because I feel like that would be a massive middle finger if he won, mm -hmm, uh, considering mm -hmm. he's out of a full time ride, I'm gonna go ahead and stick to the Ford camp, and I'm gonna say there's gonna be a second or a two time Daytona 500 winner out of Michael McDowell. No, I'll stay okay. in the front row camp. Ooh, okay. Only okay. good pick today. Only good pick and my only, <laughs> only good pick. pick. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you you've missed every other one, man. Yeah, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> we'll come back to this next week when we see. Oh yeah, that. no, I'm so ready for. Yeah, next either week, I'm but... gonna get blaze next week or I'm gonna just be laughing at all of you. The Jake oh, slander oh, right the, now yeah, is the, absolutely the, exactly a, phenomenal. I'm, <laughs> I'm the same guy last year that predicted before the season that uh that was weird. Uh, I'm the same guy that predicted before last season that Tyler Reddick wouldn't win. And it seemed like for a while that was going to stay true. But it did. Well, you missed. Oh, my gosh. Hey, you missed. It, hey it, uh, it, when, when Bristol happened, that was the, the, that was the closest I thought it was. Um, but you still make. Okay. Your, your takes are so cold. They belong in the freezer. Good. Good. <laughs> That's what we need. Uh, anyways, ah, rewinding, it. rewinding to Fabian mentioning Kyle Busch winning. We saw at the it. clash that he and Austin Dillon worked good together. Is this something new for Kyle Busch? And is this like a whole revival for his career? 
Tim? I think I, I think it is because honestly, this is just gonna be what everyone else is saying. Every single time Kyle Bush has like had to fight adversity, he's kicked the hell out of it. gonna do good in that eight car rcr is only gonna get better kyle bush is also a better driver than tyler reddick so okay he'll be very good all right connor all right so kyle bush is a better driver than tyler reddick but i don't think he will do better than tyler reddick did i think he'll be right around the same three wins round of 12 round of eight exit and yeah right around the same Okay. Sal? Um, I think he does – he exceeds what Reddick did. He he is capable of winning. The thing with him is he's a driver that could be in a slump or people could count him out. Then he could come back and win like four or five races in the span of two, three months. And I, I think now – he brought in something so much different to RCR. They're going to be like legitimate contenders, both him and Austin. Okay. Uh, Fabian. To be honest, I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> With that, I'm just going to skip you, Matthew on to you. All right. So I've got a couple ideas of looking at this one. He's going to exceed expectations or whatever you want to call it. Um, but also, I think he's also going to make Austin Dillon a better driver. I think he'll help not just himself, but he'll help the team out in general. And, of course, he's going to exceed Reddick's expectation or how, what Reddick does over there at wherever he's at again. Um, uh, it's, it's Kyle Busch, bro. It's slightly Kyle Busch. I mean, if you bet against him, you're stupid. So he'll do his thing. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with that. I feel like Kyle Busch being at the team, we already saw he he probably did help out Austin a lot at the Clash. So I feel like that's going to be something that helps Austin grow throughout future years, especially if Kyle does, you know, have the career clock ticking um, with the years to come. But nevertheless, to uh, to kind of wrap things off one more topic. The championship predictions across all three NASCAR series. Early, yes, but may as well make them now. Tim, who do you got for all three? Uh, <clears throat> trucks, definitely still Zane Smith, because he shouldn't even be in trucks, to be honest. Yeah. He's way too good. Uh, Xfinity. Oh, goodness. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on a limb. Just because that car is so damn good, Brandon Jones. Just because okay. that car is <clears throat> solid, okay. and for Cup, he he is literally due. He has to win one eventually. <laughs> <laughs> he was ready for that, so you got Denny. Okay, that's respectable. All right, Connor, who do you got? All right, so for trucks. We're going to go with the 98 of Ty Majeski in okay. the Truck Series title. Xfinity, it's going to be Cole Custer. I don't even have to think about it. I'm not going to think about it. And um, Cup Series, I'm going to say there will be a new two-time champion, and his name is Kyle Larson. Okay. Sal? All right. So I got Zane Smith going back to back. Um, I got Cole Custer finally getting. I think it was twenty nineteen or eighteen. It slipped away from him. Um, I I got him getting the Xfinity Series title this year, and I'm going to agree with Tim. Denny Hamlin is due for it, Dude. and he is going to get it this year. Okay, Fabian. For a trucks, I say Crafton gets another random championship. Okay. For Xfinity, I say Chandler Smith pulls off a Daniel Hemrick and wins the race at the last race of the season. Uh-huh. 
Who's your cup prediction, bro? <laughs> <laughs> well, for do cup, do it. I'm gonna say Truex. Ooh, I'm okay. <laughs> Ooh. Me and me and Fabian are on the same page. Stats, are you? Get through them real quick. I'm gonna be biased. I got Taylor Gray uh, uh, for trucks. I got Hunter for Xfinity, and then Cup. I was debating between Truex, but then I also debated between him, and I, I debated against Chastain. Obviously, Chastain hated like hell, but I'm gonna go Chastain. I'm gonna go Chastain here. Okay. Um, well, yeah, on the same page. Know. Wait, what? You gave me a look. I didn't like. Yeah, it. I, I don't. I don't know how I feel about that Chastain call. <laughs> um, You're the one to call him out. You're the one to call him out. Yeah, yeah, I am. This so, is the one chance you get to redeem yourself. You so I'm on the. I'm on the same page with Fabian as far as trucks. I do think Crafton pulls another one out. I feel like it's just one wow. of those years with how random that field is. He pulls one out. Mr. Consistency pulls it off. And speaking of consistency, I'm going to say Daniel Hemrick's going to be the one that takes the series by storm this year. But, but, hear Stop. me out. Hear me out. Stop. He doesn't win Stop. the championship. He doesn't win the championship. You know who wins the championship? The guy in the eight car. Josh Berry's going to win the championship. Oh, look, I'm getting title. up again. <laughs> <laughs> and as for Cup, it's a toss up, in my opinion, between Truex. AJ Hamlin. I feel like it's an inner working of JGR teammates that are going to fight each other, but I'm going to bet my money on Truex. Mm. It's the it's the revenge <laughs> tour. It's the revenge <laughs> tour. It's the FU tour from Truex. That's what it's going to be this year. So, bold prediction. I'm only saying the bold ones on Josh Berry. Is that quite bold ones today? I would say the crap. You're the one saying that Taylor Gray is going to win trucks. Listen, bro, I don't want to. There's no bias there in the slightest. All right? There's no bias there in the slightest. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to hear from you, mister, thinking seven time ain't going to make the freaking 500. I don't want to hear from are you. Swinging? I don't want to know. <laughs> Nevertheless. <laughs> um, I can take this call and snatch your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, I think that's what wraps it up here this week. So. With this 23, uh, 2023 season, we'll be back next Wednesday with a review of the 500 and predictions going into Fontana. Nevertheless, thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Peace out, y'all.